guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorg Truck on the Twitters with your basic Sorgonomics. We're going to get techie on this one like we were last week with all the other announcements. Uh, so iOS 9 has been released. Uh, a lot of you guys probably have it by now, I would think. I, I, I haven't heard any big things. I've actually told my uh, relatives and, and such, uh, hey, just give it a day, you know, before you upgrade. And uh, just to make sure there's nothing super, super weird going on out there. And I haven't heard any rumblings, no screaming from the rooftops yet about this one. So I think it's about safe uh, for you guys to go ahead and do that. So uh, if you, so, so, so sorry, Android people, this is not for you. Uh, thoughts so far? Uh, I, I'm kind of liking it. And, and this was kind of weird. Uh, going into this, this is the first time for a while where uh, I wasn't, uh, uh, clamoring for the new o- iOS. In fact, I've, I didn't even catch when the release date was until the night before when we were doing the podcast. It's like, oh, iOS 9 tomorrow. I'm like, oh, I guess I'm doing a thing. And uh, I did check it periodically, but I wasn't just like, oh, I can't wait for this. And, and, and you know, again, especially uh, uh, since it comes out before new iPhones and, and every two years I'm, I'm getting a new iPhone. And it's like, yeah, I get to play with the new iOS and like on the older phone that's probably a little slower and everything. Uh, and in, in, in it's kind of like a, a a preview of what's coming up for me. Whoops, sorry about that. It's a, it's a preview for what's coming up for me uh, in the next couple of weeks uh, when when I do pick up a new phone. And so it's an interesting um, it's an interesting uh, I don't know a preview kind of thing that happens. Uh, but uh, there are subtle changes, nothing uh, really large except for how search works. Uh, if you, I've, I've been playing with that a little bit, uh, it looks like we have a little bit of a Google Now ish thing, and not and people are going to argue with that, uh, but uh, it's definitely uh, it definitely helps. It definitely helps a bit. Uh, when I pop in here, uh, you know, again, we do have our search from the top, which confuses me a little bit because we do have our search from the top, but then we have our swipe left from the home screen. It happens again, and when that happens, you get uh, series suggestions. They're calling it. And you get a row of, uh, you know, I guess the most recent people you've called or, or interacted with, uh, most recent apps. And then there's a nearby tab. And I'm playing, playing with that a little bit. Restaurants and, and coffee shops, shopping, uh, yeah, gas. And I guess it, it does change depending on because their, their example shows gas. And I haven't seen that one yet. Uh, and then news, suggestions, stuff like that. It's really nice to be able to go in here and and I did this this morning and you really do have a snapshot of your day in this which is something I think that Google Now was trying to accomplish as well. So so kudos for that. Also Siri is uh, uh I haven't done a lot of talking with Siri. I've been in an office situation or other situations uh in the last 24 hours so I haven't been able to talk to my phone like a crazy person. Uh but still it, it, it seems like they've added a lot more to it. I, I tried the feature. It said, show me pictures from last Tuesday. And, and it showed me stuff from podcast day. It, it showed me a section of photos. So that is going to be really nice. If you have been very much in the Apple ecosystem for a while, then you are going to be, I think, uh, a very, you know, you're going to be able to take advantage of this a little more. And I think that's going to be very, very significant. Um, I have an older iPad, so I don't think I get the multitasking uh, split screen sort of situation. I believe that is just limited. Yes, the segments here uh, is just limited to the iPad Air 2, Mini 4, and the upcoming uh, iPad Pro. So you're not going to get that kind of bell and whistle. But even that, I was surprised on the iPad when you had five icons across in, 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 in your folders. Uh, which I always felt like you have so much dead space when you had a folder on, on the iPad. And it feels like they've certainly um, um, kind of uh, made up for that. So um, other than that, mostly, uh, of course, the, the, the app, what do you call it? The app selection screen, the app, uh, you know, when you double click and you can, you can uh, app switcher, they call it. Uh, it's more of a full screen kind of thing. Uh, it takes up more room. I don't know if I like that so much. It just seems huge and, and, and like a lot more motion than it needed to be for what we had before. Uh, but uh, but uh, we'll get used to it. I always get get worried about this. So uh, one recommendation I saw, Renee Ritchie, Renee Ritchie wonderful Canadian from imore.com, uh, was on Twitter and talking <clears throat> excuse me, talking about 
uh, make sure when you update, uh, you know, be, to be clear, your phone will be slow. Apparently, your, your phone will be slow. Your battery will take a hit uh, because uh, with all these new search features, it's actually going to give you, um, it's actually going to go through and uh, re-index a lot of your phone. Basically, you just re-index your phone. And uh, so, so give it about 24 hours before you're like, okay, this is how my phone is going to operate. Now, obviously, I did. It does seem. I wouldn't say that my iPhone 5s is feeling slow, uh, but it feels like things are more deliberate. There is a different speed and feel to how everything moves, um, which actually makes it feel solid to me. Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It, it is just kind of a uh, uh, how things operate and feel to you uh, kind of situation. So I am a little concerned also about the uh, integration with Maps. Uh, I, I don't often consider uh, Apple Maps to be quite as good as we see with Google, but uh, that I'm able to ask more questions uh, of Siri is so, sort of, I feel, uh, again, just the first 24 hours with it, less than 24 hours with it, uh, makes me feel like I may use it to ask questions, general questions, more than my Google app that's on my phone. Maybe. Maybe. Needs a little more time to it. We'll see what's going on there. Um, also, thanks to... Also, thanks to the um, the, uh, the 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 serious suggestions, I get to see more of the faces of the people I interact with, and I've been adding more pictures to their faces. So, little little side there. Um, other than that, what else has changed in this? Jeez, what else has changed in this? We, oh, 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 this is the other part that concerned me. Uh, notes. This this is where it gets gets odd for me. So we had something like this last year where we had iDrive uh, change over, and uh, they said, "Oh, hey, if you do this, if you change your iDrive." to be updated to this new operating system, um, it won't work on your other operating systems unless they're updated to, at the time, uh, Yosemite for, for uh, OS X or any other devices that haven't updated yet. Uh, and that got a lot of people kind of in trouble there. They, they, they clicked the thing, didn't really pay attention. All of a sudden, it's like, oh, um, we where, where are all those files I was working on in Pages? I don't know who works at Pages, but uh, you get the idea. Same thing is happening for notes. Now I have a feeling I'm not going to realize this until Monday when I'm doing notes uh, on on my on my computer and and wondering why the heck um, I don't have them uh, across across the the, the devices. Um, and uh, because it it needs to be compatible with OS X. Uh, where are we up to? El Capitan. Yes, I'm going to sing the song from OPM a lot. Uh, but. Uh, we don't have that, and we're not going to have that for, I think, well over a week. I think it's coming out next week or the end of the month, something like that. Uh, so now there are a lot of people who are not going to pay attention to that, unfortunately. And uh, and that's going to get people in trouble if, if they're a big Notes user. I live in Notes. I, I really do. I live in Notes. I love that I put it there. I put ideas in. I had I had, I had had show ideas for today that I put in there, and, and I just left it there. And, uh, and and so because I knew I'd come back to it and I know to check my notes and, and I search for it. I, I put uh, uh, passwords but in there and stuff. Oh, that's a bad thing to admit. But I don't say what the passwords are. So it's just like I know there's a password. And I know it has these three letters in it. Oh, there it is. Um, so it's kind of coded in that in that kind of way. Uh, but, uh, but I'm talking about like Wi-Fi passwords and stuff like that. Not like my bank password or something. Those go in last pass. Uh, but other than that, New apps that you're going to be forced to put on your screen uh, and hide in a folder later. Uh, the iCloud Drive, I think, is kind of a nice idea. I can actually get to the files without being cagey about it, I guess. Uh, also, Find My Friends is an, is, an, is an included app now. You could have downloaded that in the past. And I'm already using location sharing, actually, with my wife. Like, I always turn that on in, in uh, Messages. Uh, so just to say like, oh, is she still out to the store? Oh, is she on, on, on her way home from work? Yes, we stalk each other pretty much. Um, but uh, but that's okay, right? Uh, it's all right. Uh, we're, we're married. We're allowed to do that. And we don't have a dysfunctional relationship. At least I don't think we do. Uh, but I, 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 think it, I think it is a, a something worth considering, except, especially if it's something like... Um, you know, you know they're on iPhones and you're meeting up for something and you want to say, well, how late is my sister going to be this time? 
And, uh, and I think that's going to be very helpful for a lot of people. And, I, and that's risen to the top for you. Uh, the other app, News. I was sketchy on News because, like, well, I kind of don't like the idea of this being just on my iPhone. And it's a whole other thing I'm going to have to start curating. Uh, well, you know, figuring out what sources are there. Will all the sources be there that I want to be there? Uh, and uh, damn it, it's good. <laughs> it feels good. It is so nicely designed. Chilla, you're 100% right on this one. Uh, so I, I think, I don't know if it's going to completely replace Feedly because I have a lot of my web comics in there. But let's be honest, I haven't read those web comics in like two months. Uh, but uh, it, it is nice to refresh. And I think that that is, I think that is, uh, I think that's important. And I think that's going to, uh well for me it's going to help me kind of revigorate like my my news reading a little bit uh in this thing because you want to go in it versus uh feedly was something that i was pulling up on my ipad and crash half the time uh, again an older ipad but still uh, and uh and maybe it didn't behave all the time uh the way i wanted it to and maybe i have a lot of feeds in there i really should just go through and delete but let's be honest you're not going to do that just like you're not going to finish checking all of your email uh, uh inbox zero is a lie and so is newsreader zero as well go in casually pop in it's like twitter you know and i think it's going to do a lot for it now there is the discussion of course of what this means for print advertisers to have to now do this and format this stuff for uh, facebook's news news product and do this all this other stuff that may or may not i haven't seen an ad yet so uh unless you you click through to their website so I think that's going to be uh, very interesting as well. Tell me what you think, iOS 9. Uh, did you download it? Are you holding off on it? Are you an Android user and want to know what all the fuss is about? Let me know at Sorgatron on the Twitter. Please check out uh, the uh, the event coming up, the Lunch and Learn, if you're in the Pittsburgh area. Uh, we have also just recently added a remote option. Again, you're going to have to provide your own lunch for the time being. Uh, check out details for that at Sorgatron.com. Or uh, over at SorgatronMedia.com, we're doing the nuts and bolts. We're demystifying all the uh, all the the microphones and the mixers and that kind of stuff that may be keeping you from diving into podcasting headfirst. Uh, we're gonna get your head around that new technology. If you're not an audio engineer, heck, I hardly am. And uh, we'll uh, see you guys then uh, in person or over Google Hangout. Uh, please go check that. Sign up for that. And uh, we'll see you then. Sign up for the newsletter as well at either of those sites, Sorgatron or SorgatronMedia.com. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.